Hi, my name is Laquita Williams, Assistive Tech and Alternative Format Coordinator with Access Services at Tacoma Community College. I would like to introduce you to Otter AI. You have or you will receive an email from me inviting you to join Tacoma CC Team Otter. Click on the link below to create your own personal account. Please remember to use the TCC student email address. I already have an account set up, so all I need to do is put in my email address and my password to log in. Otter is available on the web and through smartphones and tablets with the apps. I'm actually going to show you how to create a note right from here. All you have to do is press the record button. Otter AI will generate rich text notes for meetings, lectures, and other important voice conversations. Otter is not a note taker per se, it's more of a wave capturing everything from lectures you're listening to, to online and offline conversations and meetings. Even your own self-recorded conversations. As you can see, the recording has started and the actual recording is being transcribed in front of you. You can change your note up here and put the course or whatever subject you feel best that will help you remind, will help remind you of the text that you want to come back and listen to. So for instance, I can do math 107. The data is below it and the time, and then a, run, a running total for your minutes that you're using. So every month you'll have 600 minutes to use. If you come down here and hover over the highlight button, I can highlight material that I feel that's important to me so that I can come back and click right on those words and listen to what was recorded. I can also add a picture. I have one on my phone or my tablet or you can actually take a picture. You can embed that right into your conversation. So I want to put one picture and maybe two pictures. Otter will continue to transcribe for you. So you can also upload a podcast or video and Otter will do its best job to transcribe that material for you. You can pause down here if you need to and then resume recording when you're ready. So I'll go ahead and stop this for now. And now it brings me back to the home page. Here are some recently recorded activities that I had previously. It takes a couple minutes for the files to process. When they're ready, it'll say, the file, whatever you've called it, this one is English 104, is ready. So once that happens, you can click on it and listen to it. You will get a notification that lets you know that your file is ready. If I click on it now, it may still be loading. So I try to wait until the file says it's ready. And I just got a notification letting me know it was done. So I can re hit refresh, and then when I hit refresh, it'll say ready. 
or you can click on it now. So Otter um, pulled out some summary words. And if I click on one of those summary words, I'll see that it was said three times within the recording. So to take me to each time that it said the word transcribed. Most importantly, when you click on the text, Okay, so Otter was recording or playing back the recording that it heard and then you're able to listen to it out loud. I put two pictures in there and they show the pictures up top. I highlighted two things and it took me to what I highlighted. The first thing I highlighted for your minutes. And it'll also take me to my highlighting here. And I can listen to that specific recording there. You can also, it says it's still processing conversation down here at the bottom. So let me refresh. And now it's not saying that at the bottom. And I can edit this file by clicking on edit. And I can change this up if I wanted to say, Otter, I could just type in Otter here. And then I can push done. And now that word is embedded in there. Also, if you put, click on the three dots on the right here, you can move the file, export text, export audio, rematch your speakers or delete. Here are your speakers over here to the left. You can click on your speakers and also add names for your speakers. I'm not going to click on mine because I do have students' names listed under mine. But Otter will do its best job to break up conversations. And as you can see, the pictures are embedded and it's highlighted here. If I go back home, these are all of my recent activities. I can also create folders here on this side. separate my notes. Back to the home page. Here's a button to import audio or files. If I wanted to put in some specialized terminology, like medical terminology, I can go to the account settings and then go to manage vocabulary. And under personal vocabulary, I can put in a name so that when it hears this name, it knows what it's recording. Or I can put in vocabulary words and I have a few words here already so that when it's recording, it does its best to understand those words. My name is Laquita Williams. And I'm glad to present to you Otter AI. If you need any help, please reach out to me at lwilliams at tacomacc.edu. Thank you.